Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new, what's up? My name is VNA Strick. Thank you so much for being here. Today, as you can see by the title, I'm filming one of your favorite videos, testing new drugstore makeup. There's always so much more coming out, but even though it's affordable, I still want to let you know if it's worth your money or not. So we're going to test it out on the face today. I hope that you guys enjoy this video. And if you do, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to join my squad. Let's get into it. We have a lot of makeup to try on today, so I just wanna get right into it. We do have a new foundation, and you guys know when it comes to foundations uh, or primer, I don't like to use two new ones at the same time because you never know what's gonna happen. So I do have my newest primer that I have tried out and I really like, and then we'll try out a brand new foundation. For primer, we'll be using the NYX Freezy. So I did test this out in my last Testing New Drugs for a video, and I really have been enjoying it. So it's kind of like an all-in-one primer. It's going to blur the skin, it's going to cool it down, calm it, uh, hydrate it, and it also just feels really cold. It does have niacinamide as well as snow mushrooms. Because it's an all-in-one, it's not going to be like the most at anything, if that makes sense. It's just going to be an overall good primer that does a little bit of everything. It does have more of like a thicker silicone feel, but a little bit more on the gel side. It feels cooling, it adds hydration, it makes a really pretty like um, base for foundation without really making your skin like matte or dewy. It is on the pricier side for um, drugstore, but I will say you guys saw how little product I used because it is a thicker product and you do get quite a bit in the jar. You get uh, 1.69 fluid ounces, so I do think the price is justified just because you do get quite a bit of product in it. So right now, it's so funny, my skin feels like nice and cool. So I'm excited to try out a new foundation. We're going for like a very, we're going for like a fairy vibe today, if that makes sense. Um, even my nails, I don't know if you guys can tell, they're a little bit of like a duochrome. So today we'll be trying this brand new foundation from Joa. It's the Crystal Glow. Peptide infused foundation with 3% luminizing peptide, hyaluronic acid, and collagen. So they're saying that it's a foundation, primer, and skincare all in one. It's a radiant finish and medium coverage. I have the shade MW020, light medium with warm undertones. Parade for me that this works for me. Okay, I'm gonna do just one pump first. It's like a cream. I don't know why I expected it to be more of like a liquidy but this is the shade. I think we will be fine. So let's try it out on one side of the face first. I didn't use the full pump. Then we blend it out with a brush. Um, this foundation might look a little warmer than my neck, but I think we did pretty good for not testing it out. So far, I'm actually liking the finish because as you guys know, if you watch my channel, it's radiant, but it's not Greasy looking. I don't like greasy. I just don't. Um, that looks gorgeous. I really like it because I feel like it really did perfect my skin, but it looks very natural and it looks just as beautiful in person. So I'm gonna do about half a pump more and let's do the other side with a sponge. But really with any foundation, I usually prefer to go in with a brush and then a sponge. But for the sake of the video, you guys know we'll test both out. Did we match ourselves perfectly i don't even have fake tan nothing like this is my true skin tone right now and i feel like i matched myself perfectly honestly it looks just as nice with a sponge maybe a little bit less coverage i can see a little bit of redness peeking through my cheek but not too much of a difference so i do like both sides so i'm just gonna add a little bit more right here and i'm just gonna sponge the whole face sponge the whole face because i want it to look even we might have a new favorite because this looks gorgeous healthy hydrating and it doesn't feel or look heavy i don't have a brand new liquid or cream contour or blush but i do have a brand new liquid highlighter so let's go ahead and apply some of my favorite liquid products ever you guys know how much i love the she glam liquid bronzer liquid blush um, so let's go ahead and bronze up the face with the shade warm honey these formulas are super lightweight, super liquidy. They blend really easily and they look stunning. See how easily that blended out? 
stunning. Before we go into blush though, let's use one of the newest concealers on the market. Flower Beauty's newest concealer is this one right here. Um, this is their Serum Gel Real Serum Concealer. I did try this out in a different video and I really did like it, but I think I got the wrong shade. I got the shade Sand and it's a little bit more on the pinky side, um, but it's a beautiful concealer. It definitely is like a serum concealer and it gives you a beautiful finish, but I kind of wanted to mix it today with the other Flower Beauty concealer. This is the uh, Light Illusion Concealer. It's one of my favorites. It's in the shade Medium Honey, so I kind of wanted to mix these both. Uh, why don't I just show you guys what it looks like first by itself, since you probably care more about the new one. This is definitely going to give you more of a natural coverage, but it's very lightweight and very beautiful. See how it's a little too bright for me? But obviously, that is on user error. It is a beautiful concealer. If you're thinking about getting it, um, I do think it's bomb. So this is the finish of it. It's definitely more of a light to medium coverage. I think this is great for every day as well as like drier under eyes and just more of a natural concealer. So it is beautiful, but I'm gonna go ahead and add this one just so that it doesn't look super, super bright. Um, see how much darker this one is? Uh, but this concealer, if you prefer medium to full coverage, but still hydrating a satin finish, this is really nice too. So I'm just going to blend these two together. Well, I mean, you obviously don't need both, but if you have both, try mixing them because the finish is beautiful. Okay, and now I'm gonna go ahead and add my She Glam Liquid Blush. This one is in the shade Swipe Right, and it's one of my favorites. It's gonna look very dark and scary, but like I mentioned, these blend so easily, so they always just work out beautifully. We do have a brand new highlighter to try out, and I think you guys are really gonna like them because it is going more for the fairy vibes that I mentioned at the beginning of the video, oh, and I think it'll go really, really nicely with my shirt. By the way, I just added some of my CoverGirl Clean Fresh Yummy Gloss in the shade My Straw Booty just to give my lips a little more color. All right, so let's go ahead and do highlight. I do wanna thank She Glam for kindly sponsoring this portion of the video. You guys know I'm obsessed with all the like the liquid bloom family, and today we have new ones. These are the brand new Chroma Glow Liquid Bloom Highlighters. Let me tell you guys a little bit about them. She Glam is super affordable. These retail for only $6.99. Again, it's an extension of the existing She Glam Liquid Family Collection. They do have shade shifting properties, and they are buildable depending on the desired intensity that you might want. So let me show you guys the three different shades. So this is the shade Stardust and it has light green, pale yellow, and rose pink shimmer. It's stunning. Then we have the shade Solar Flare. This is an orange to golden orange to golden shimmer. And lastly we have Flying Comet. This is a light green to light silver yellow to silver purple shimmer. I truly can't pick a favorite. I think that they're all super super pretty. And of course the finish is beautiful but I will say the formula is also really easy to work with. I want to use Stardust on my cheekbones and then maybe we can use another one like on the body because you can put these anywhere. So let's go ahead and do just a little bit. Again, that's Stardust and I'm gonna blend it out with my finger. So see, don't be afraid of it. Even though they're duochromes, you can definitely go a little more light-handed with it. And then let's go ahead and build it up. Just like the other Liquid Bloom uh, products, these are so thin. So even though you can like build them up to intensity, they don't feel like heavy they're not greasy. You guys know I don't like greasy. Look at that. So yeah, and I feel like this color Stardust goes perfectly with my shirt. What did I tell you guys at the beginning of the video? We are going for some fairy vibes. So that looks gorge. And then I did want to use a different shade just to show you guys um, on my decollete. Okay, so now we are glowing. And I want to use Solar Flare. Um, right here and right here just to give us some glow and because this is more of like a golden shade it almost goes even better with my skin tone and because they are duochrome i like it because if i'm just standing like this you wouldn't even know that i have like a liquid highlighter on my body but when the light hits the cheeks the face wherever you put it that color really stands out so i really like these i think that they're really fun and again i love that they're affordable and they're buildable you guys know sometimes i'm in the mood for a lot sometimes i'm in the mood for only a little bit so this is what they look like i think they're gorgeous and if you guys are interested in trying them out i really think you're gonna love them let's go ahead and do flying comet as like an inner corner highlight as well as a brow bone highlight. 
Isn't that gorge? Of course, all the information will be in the description. I will link these products down below. Thanks again to SheGlam for sponsoring this portion of the video and working with me today. And thank you to you guys because if it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be getting these sponsorships. So I really, really love you guys. I think it is time to set the face. So to set the face today, I'm gonna be using the brand new makeup brand of an extension of Makeup Revolution. This is the Super Matte Powder in Translucent. And this was definitely one of the products that I really liked the most out of the whole line. It is a pressed powder. It's super lightweight and it's really nice for a dry skin. Even though it says super matte, it doesn't dry the skin out and it does give the skin a nice blurred finish. What I will say is uh, go in with a very light hand because this powder does tend to pick up a lot on the powder puff and it is pretty brightening. And that is a finish. It's really, really pretty. And by the way, I did apply powder all over the face because we are going to use powder products, but see how that highlighter is still shining through. For bronzer, we'll also be using the new Relove brand bronzer. You guys, this was quite a surprise for me. This is the Super Bronzing Powder. I accidentally got it in a very dark shade called Oasis, but this formula worked out really well. I still want to get in a lighter shade because the formula is so nice, but the formula is so nice that even if you get the wrong shade, you can still apply it and it still looks really, really nice. It's like pressed very hard, but it's very pigmented. And so you can get a very, very, very light layer of a lot of pigmentation and it just blends beautifully. Like I said, maybe not the best shade for me, but because it's so nice, you can make it work. So I definitely want to get one shade down. These two products were definitely some of my favorites from just the whole line in general. I do think that they are really good at powders. I am loving how the base is looking right now. And to finish off the face, because I'm ready to use a brand new eyeshadow, we'll be using the brand new ColourPop uh, Pressed Powder Blush in the shade New To You. I have been loving this. If you guys haven't watched my channel, this is nice because for once, I'm actually loving a buildable blush. I feel like I can go like super heavy handed with it and it never looks too much, for me at least. And this shade specifically, I think is like the Dior blush for like medium skin toned people. It gives me that like pretty cool tone baby doll pink without washing me out. And I just think that the shade is perfect and I love the formula. And of course, I love the price tag. We do have a new eyeshadow palette, but I think before we do that, I kind of want to try out a new lip stain that I found. This is uh, new from the Creme Shop. At least it's new to me. I've never seen it and I'm super excited to try it out. So this is called the Glossy 12 Hour Lip Stain. And this is in the shade Wine and Dine. So I did take off my lip gloss. And by the way, I do have my lips blushed. I don't know if you guys noticed, I used to have like no color on my lips. I do have a video coming for you guys with um, the whole process. There aren't any instructions and there's also no uh, reviews because I guess it's a new product, but it's just described as a moisturizing lightweight lip stain that's going to stain your lips for 12 hours plus. Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it fully and then we can see what it looks like. So this is the packaging. Oh wow, that's a pretty shade. Smells really nice. Smells like watermelon candy. Right now it feels nice. It feels like a thin kind of gel formula and it is extremely, extremely dark. Obviously, hopefully it gets lighter and then like the stain will that'll leave behind will last. But so far by itself, it looks really pretty. I feel like I obviously look crazy because I don't have any eye makeup on, but it's like very, very glossy but very, very thin. So, so far I'm loving it. We will see what it looks like. Okay, so for the eyeshadow palette today, we're gonna be using the brand new Wet n Wild Sesame Street collection. I do have the whole collection. I did ask you guys on my Instagram if you wanted a like dedicated video, and a lot of you guys said no, that you just wanted to see a couple things, and one of them was this eyeshadow palette that I'm trying to open with my scissors. So here is what it looks like. It actually looks really, really pretty. Obviously today, we're gonna stick to like like the pinkies and purplies because I want it to go with the look. I will say if this is anything like all the other collections from Wet n Wild, these eyeshadow palettes are usually pretty nice. Because this video is probably already too long, we are gonna go ahead and speed it up. So for the crease, I'm using that lighter matte shade. It's more of like a peachy matte shade and it's definitely a very light wash of color, but I'm just kind of putting that everywhere. We are gonna be doing a halo eye, so I'm gonna grab that like muted
muted browny mauvey matte shade and start building it up in the inner and outer portion of the eyelid as well as connecting it right under the crease and then I'm going to intensify that with a little bit of that really beautiful like dark reddish maroon shade and then with my finger because I don't want it to be like extremely shimmery I'm gonna grab that fuchsia shimmer shade it is stunning uh, it looks beautiful once built up and I'm putting that in the middle of the eyelid as you guys can see I'm gonna grab that super pale lavender taupey um, shimmer shade and just stick that in the middle of the eyelid and then for the lower lash line I'm mixing the dark brown matte shade as well as the red shade together for the outer corner and then I'm gonna finish off blue blending under the crease with that chocolatey mauvey shade. This is what it looks like. I'm super happy with the way that it came out. And like I mentioned earlier, these formulas are usually all the same. If you like all the other eyeshadow palettes from Wet n Wild, I think you guys would really like this. And obviously I only used a handful of the shades. There are a lot more uh, different looks that you guys can do with it. And I do think it looks stunning. So for eyeliner, um, I do have this brand new eyeliner from Undone Beauty. It is a liquid liner and I do have black and brown. I'm gonna use the shade black today. Let's hope that it is a brush tip. It is, but it is a tiny little brush tip. Okay. We do see some pigment though. So um, who knows how it will go with this little tiny brush, but I'm going to go ahead and do a winged liner and see how it looks over this eyeshadow. You guys, yes, this is small, but it is mighty. Usually I have a hard time using little tiny liners like this. I mean, do we see this? Look how dark it is, especially over so much shimmer shadow. It is dark, intense, pigmented, and matte black. And the brush tip, even though it's tiny, you do get product all the way to the tip. So this was actually like the easiest micro liner that I've used. This is really nice. I'm actually really, really impressed with this. Good job, Undone Beauty. Okay, so I do have some new lashes from Kiss, but I also have a new mascara from Undone Beauty. So let's try this one first. And if we can get, oh wait, this is in the shade Burgundy. What? Well, now we have to try it out. The fact that this is burgundy might look horrible or make the whole look. So again, this is from Undone Beauty. Um, I guess it's just called their Clean Lash. I don't even know if you guys can tell, but I kind of like this shade because it is definitely purple, but it is not like super bright. So it might just have like a beautiful undertone that will look really nice with certain looks and certain eye colors. Uh, so far, I'm not impressed with the wand just looking at it, but hopefully it works really well. So I'm gonna go ahead and do two coats on each eye and then I will let you guys know. Mm, I don't think I'm very impressed to be honest. The brush is just a little too thick and doesn't deposit enough product. Um, this is definitely more of like a natural mascara. So if you like something natural and you want to try a burgundy shade that isn't too overly purple, I do think it's pretty. You can definitely tell more the color on like the lower lash lines. And I do think that if you have blonde eyelashes, it might work out better for you. But just as a mascara, definitely not my favorite. Um, yeah, I mean, it's just not doing much for my lashes. Should we put on fake lashes? Kiss uh, came out with a new um, eyelash line, and I do have all of them, I believe. So let's look at them and then pick one. This one is called Legacy. Here is Empress. This is Noblesse. Here is Sire. And this is Supreme. I hate to be boring, but I kind of want to use Supreme because usually when I have a halo eye, I like to round out my eye, and I feel like these would just add that volume um, while keeping the eye really round. Let's go ahead and take off this lip stain while the lash glue is drying. By the way, it still looks really pretty. Oh wow, it definitely stained on my lips. And I do think that shade's really pretty. It's, I mean, it's on there, so I really like that, and you know what? A lot of lip stains I feel like are really drying and this one still has even a little bit of shine. It reminds me a lot of the e.l.f. one, so, um, which I really like. So, so far I am liking this. It's a little bit patchy up top, but as a lip stain itself that is like very affordable, I really, really like it. 
Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and apply these lashes. From the looks of them, they just look really nice and airy, but like very high quality. These were so easy to put on, and I definitely think it gave me the look that I wanted. So 10 out of 10 for those lashes. I will keep trying the more dramatic ones, but if you wanna try out the more natural one, I do think it still gives you a really, really nice finish. I lined my lips with a brown liner, and we're gonna finish off the look with the Wet n Wild Sesame Street Happy To Be Me lip gloss in the shade Fun Size. It's like a pinky nude pink with shimmer. So I do like the way that lip stain looks um, with lip liner, but we just want to like lighten it up a little bit so it goes better with the look. And oh wow, this is very like very shimmery. Ooh, I love wet and wild glosses. And it smells really nice. It kind of smells like fresh fruit. And I will say, for how shimmery that is, I cannot feel any, like I cannot feel the shimmer, it's not gritty. This is stunning. Did that not make my lips look so freaking juicy? And it is like a nice thicker formula and it's not sticky at all. Alrighty guys, and this is the finished result. I love how the look turned out. I think that the fairy vibes are definitely there. I really enjoyed all the products that I tried out today, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I will link everything down below. Let me know if you guys have any questions. And thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.